What's up guys, Elegant Mess here. Uh, today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do a tutorial on dual audio streams with Windows 7. Uh, a lot of the times you're having problems with Windows 7 using like virtual audio cable or some other program. Virtual audio cable seems to be the most prominent program to do this. Um, being able to game, uh, you know, whatever you want to play, and being able to listen to music at the same time without running them all through your headset or your speakers, vice versa. Um, so I like to be able to play my game, but, you know, kind of jam out at the same time. But if I'm on TeamSpeak or Skype, Ventrilo, whatever, you know, with the game, you know, whatever program you're using for chat, and then the music on top of it all going through your headset, it can get very distracting. So what I like to do is kind of put my music that I'm listening to through my speakers so it's just kind of ambient in the background without being overpowering and you know you can't hear somebody's footsteps or whatever in the game so how I like to do this without a bunch of other software um, there's two ways that I do this um, like I said virtual audio cable VAC is a program that can also do this but it's a bit of a pain to set up getting all the virtual lines correct and setting it up every time you want to go through it and so I found a bit of a workaround for this um, now, when I'm listening to music in Spotify, there is a way to set this so, you know, your default uh, playback device in Windows 7 is my headset. This is my default device. Um, I will not actually play the music in Spotify due to, you know, copyright issues, but uh, I've got the music turned down here, but as you can see, you know, it'll run through my playlist, it's playing shows you on the equalizer here which is I'll put the link in the description for this uh, normally this little EQ button this equalizer button is not here in your Spotify it's called uh, equalify me right here like I said I'll put this link in the description you just download the program and it'll put itself right in Spotify right here so you'll open up Spotify after you install it and click it and you can see the equalizer open up if you just right click on it you have the option it says change sound device now with this you would just click the drop down box and like my speakers instead of my headset and then just set new output device Spotify out device out to put device has changed or whatever so you okay and you would close down Spotify and exit right out of it and restart it And now this time, when you go to play it, my default device, as you can see, is still my uh, my USB headset, but it's going to be playing through my speakers. So that's that's how you would go about that with Spotify. Now, if you just have you know your favorite playlist or whatever downloaded on your computer. Um, another way to do this is we with VLC media player obviously I mean pretty much everybody knows VLC media player if you don't have VLC media player already I'll put a link in the description for it uh, you know whether it's videos um, audio whatever VLC media player plays just about anything which is a really nice program if I'm gonna watch you know movies or something on my computer this is usually what I'm watching it on um, so we can go ahead and open up a file here Um, let's see here. Now this stuff, uh, all this music here, uh, I do have uh, legal rights to use. I have all the licensings for it. So if you, you know, anybody wants to flag this or whatever, just ask. I'll, you know, I'll put all the licensing stuff in the uh, in the description as well. Yeah, that's with the Windows Media Player. So, now this is playing through the other media player. So, as this is playing, you know, it's going through my headset as normal. And uh, if I want to play the game and talk on TeamSpeak and everything all at the same time, you know, it, like I said, it gets to be quite a bit. So, go to your audio selection on VLC and go to audio device. And again, just like with the Spotify equalizer, 
This one's just built into it. I'll set it to my speakers. Now, as you can tell, I can just turn it up on my speakers to whatever volume I like without it being overpowering through my headset. Um, you know, and as you can see, my speakers, my USB speakers being my headset, um, is still the default device while my regular speakers going through the Realtek uh, through my PC is picking up the audio from uh, from VLC Media Player. So this is a nice workaround without having, you know, having a PCI Express audio card, um, you know, having another third-party program, because uh, most of the times these are things you'll already have. Um, like I said, I'll put links to Spotify's Equalizer if you're going to be using that. I'll put a link for the VLC Media Player, and uh, I'll also put, you know, the... Uh, the licensing info for the audio used in this. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, please feel free to let me know. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't, you know, give it a thumbs down. Let me know why. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know what you think. Thanks a lot.